Namaste everyone, and um, here I am in Greece, in Athens, uh, just have a few minutes to do a meditation with all of you. Uh, I know some of you in the U.S. is going to be in the middle of the night, the rest of the world, I guess, uh, it's fifth over. So before we start, let's ask for a blessing, shall we? To the Divine Supreme God, Divine Father, Mother, to all the spiritual elders, holy masters, saints, archangels, holy angels, and spiritual helpers. Personally, to my teacher, Master Talk Hoksui Mahagu Jimailing, we thank you for divine light, love, guidance, help, healing, and divine protection. We thank you in full faith, and so it is. Okay, so uh, there's a short uh, Japanese proverb, which I think is applicable. And basically, it says that wisdom and virtue are like the wheels, the two wheels on a cart. You know, when you have a cart, you have two wheels, wisdom and virtue. And a lot of people don't realize, okay, wisdom, virtue, interesting, two, si two wheels in the cart. But the reality is wisdom is direct knowing. That's what ordinary people call intuition. In other words, if they don't know the, the deeper meaning, they just say, oh, okay, virtue, uh, I'm sorry, wisdom, uh, knowing, knowing something. Actually, wisdom is something like this. Wisdom is knowing the difference between good and bad and choosing good. <laughs> It's not just knowing that something is good. It's knowing what's good or not good, but making the choice of doing what's good. Now, how could wisdom and virtue be two wheels on the cart? You know, cart's going forward, right? So, virtue is the application of that signal coming down from the higher world. So, wisdom is like, you have this, in, this direct knowing. Ah, okay, this is good, this is bad. Now, what the heck do I do with it? That's where the virtues come in. So the virtues, where well the five virtues, loving kindness, non-injury, uh, generosity, non-stealing, accurate perception, correct expression, or honesty and non-lying, uh, constancy of aim and effort, and non-laziness, and moderation, non-excessiveness. So if you think about it, now that you have this information coming in, ah, okay, this is good, this is bad. You have. You have to practice loving kindness, not injury. So both of those are in front of you. You get to see it. Yeah? The intuition, the wisdom knows, ah, okay, loving kindness, not injury. Mm. Okay, I'll choose loving kindness, definitely not to be injurious. Right? Or loving kindness and injury. Next one, uh, you have generosity and stealing. So you see it, okay, if I do this, this being generous, giving money to charity, this is taking things that are not mine. That's stealing. Okay, I see it clearly. Intuition. Ah, okay, I choose generosity. I'm not going to take things that are not mine. Make sense? Then you have honesty and non-lying. Okay, this is doing, this is honest, this is good, this is lying or bearing false witness. So between the two, I see it. Oh, I choose honesty. Being industrious, getting things done versus being lazy. What I call lazy assness. <laughs> Laziness. So between the two, uh huh. I see this is doing it, this is not doing it. This is getting things done, this is procrastinating. Okay, I see it clearly. I, the soul, the spiritual self, see it. So I'm going to choose being industrious, being diligent, and really practicing. And last one, moderation. And this is being excessive. Moderation, okay, there's time to work, there's time to relax, there's time to enjoy life, there's a time to work your ass off. And excessiveness is just go, 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 either full on working overworking or full on over relaxing being a useless person so they choose this one so if you think about it the soul the spiritual self as we said is the one handling the cart right and you have this cart or this chariot with three horses you have the body you have the emotional body the, or the astral body you have the mental body so those are the three horses you have two wheels Remember, we always use that metaphor. So the soul is having this direct knowledge, direct knowing, that's one of the wheels, and then it has the virtues. So it's up to the soul to direct the body, the emotions, and the thoughts, so it goes in one, in one direction. Now here's the problem, listen carefully. Unfortunately, a lot of people just say, oh, I'll just wait for the download, I'll wait for the information to come in. That's great and wonderful, but as the information comes in, you still have to process it, and you have to apply it. That's what the other wheel is. That is the virtue. That's why when I read that, you know, and meditated on it, 
in that Japanese proverb, wisdom, which is direct knowing, and then you have the virtues. Makes sense. If you only have one wheel, it's not going to work. You have all this information coming in, but you don't know what the heck to do with it. On this side, you have the virtues. Do this, don't do that, but uh, if you don't see things clearly, you don't have knowing what's going on, how would you know how to apply anything? So you need two sides. You have the one wheel, which is direct knowing, information coming from the higher world, from God, from your teachers. On this side, you go, oh, okay, this is the structure I use this knowledge for. So wisdom and virtue are two wheels on the same cart. The same cart, the same chariot that you, the soul, are commandering, commandeering, <laughs> right? And then you have the physical body. Okay, you have to apply industriousness. industriousness. Don't be lazy. Uh, the emotional body. Uh, okay, you have to practice kindness. Your mind, you have to practice clarity. Be honest to yourself and other people. So you have one and two, right? The, what do you call this? The information coming down from the spiritual world. And then you have the application of through the virtues. And with those two, you direct your body, your emotions, and your thoughts. So in the end, when all is said and done, the soul, right? Still is the one in charge of the body, the emotions, and thoughts based on the data coming in and how it's applied through the virtues very simple so that is the lesson for today one without the other doesn't work that's why some people they just study they study they understand everything but there's no input from the spiritual world so they're stuck with overthinking everything and the other side you have people who are just lazy oh I just wait for the information to come in in the meantime I sit on my ass and wait I'm not gonna move until I'm guided well we don't get anything done either so you get two sides you need balance with intuition with wisdom direct knowing using a certain structure called the virtues you can direct your body your emotions and thoughts period that's that clear so by improving ourselves and making let's just say make right choices we are able to transform our lives and just as importantly transform others and transform the world Okay, so let's do our meditation. To the Divine Supreme God, Divine Father, Mother, to all the spiritual elders, holy masters, saints, archangels, holy angels, spiritual helpers, personally to my teacher, Master Talk, Hoksui Mahaguj Jumailing, we thank you for divine light, love, guidance, help, healing, protection. We thank you in full faith, and so it is. All right, put your hand like this. Touch your heart with your knuckles. Focus on your crown gently. I am that. I'm not the body, I'm not the emotion, not the thoughts, I am the soul. I am a spiritual being of divine intelligence, divine love, and divine power. I am that, the soul, the spiritual self. I, the soul, control and regulate the body. I, the soul, control and regulate my emotions. I, the soul, control and regulate my mind. I am that, the soul, the spiritual self, the mover, the feeler, and the thinker. Now just focus on your crown, be still. Okay, do your meditation. Stop typing. You can't type and meditate. No. Be aware of your crown. We are one. I, the soul, am connected in one to my higher soul. I am connected in one to the divine spirit in me. I am a child of God. I'm one with God. I'm one with all. There's only oneness. Now open your hands in blessing. We'll do a short meditation to hearts. Be aware of your heart in your hands. And just say, our hearts are one, our souls are one, our spirits are one. So be aware of your heart and your hands. Fill the earth with beautiful pink light. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Wherever there's hatred anywhere in the world, let me sow unconditional love. Where there's injury, let me sow pardon and forgiveness. Be aware of your heart and your hands. Fill the earth with peace, love, and forgiveness. Where there is doubt, let me sow faith. Where there is despair, let me sow hope. Be aware of your heart and your hands. Be still and experience the oneness in all. And channel all that love, hope and faith to the country of Iran. Ukraine, Russia, all the surrounding countries in that area. 
the other parts of the world where people are suffering. In the Middle East, North Central South America, Europe, Asia, Australia, the entire world. Fill the earth with hope and with faith in a better world. So be it. Where there's darkness, let me sow light. Where there's sadness, let me sow joy. Be aware of your heart and your hands and continue filling the earth with beautiful pink light, blessing all beings with hope and faith and a better tomorrow. So be it. Now be aware of your heart. Take a deep breath. Be aware of your crown. Exhale. And just stay there. Just be aware of your crown. Your crown is filled with so much golden light. Let the golden light flow down through your hands and fill the entire earth. Our hearts are one, our souls are one. From the heart of God, through my soul, through my entire being, may every person, every being on earth be blessed with love and kindness. Let all be blessed with great joy and happiness, with understanding, harmony, and divine peace. May all be blessed without exception. So be it, so be it. And so it is. Just be still, keep your tongue on your palate, let the golden light just flow through you. Let it flow through us as one big, big funnel of filling the earth with peace, love, and kindness. Channel that golden energy to the whole country of Iran. Let there be peace. Let there be divine order and justice. Let there be divine protection for the people. So be it. Same goes with Ukraine, Russia, and all the other places where people are suffering. Let there be peace, love. Let there be divine protection. So be it. Now be aware of your heart and your crown. Take a deep breath. Just be still. Allow the golden light from both your heart and your crown to flow through you. Fill the earth with beautiful golden light. Just say our hearts are one, our souls are one, our spirits are one. From the center of the heart of God, may every person, every being on earth be blessed with love and kindness. Let all beings in the higher worlds, middle worlds, even the lower worlds, let all beings in every direction, in every dimension be blessed with God's unconditional love and kindness. Let all be blessed with inner peace, May all be blessed with inner healing. Let all be blessed with understanding, with harmony, goodwill, and the willingness to do good. So be it. Just be still. Fill the earth with peace, light, and love. So be it. Pour lots of love and healing towards the country of Iran. May the people be blessed, be healed, be divinely protected, so be it empowered. May the people of Ukraine, of Russia, of different parts of the world where people are going through troubling times, may they be blessed, be healed, and divinely protected, so be it. So be it, and so it is. Now lower your hands, keep your eyes closed, keep your tongue on the roof of your mouth, just be still. Imagine a beautiful, brilliant light, like a miniature sun floating above your crown. Just look at that brilliant light. Be still. Om. be still will intensify the energy more energy will be given to you Aum. just look at that light you are that light any sound, any noise you hear will just help you drift deeper and deeper into that golden light. 
everything is light. Be still, be aware, and let go now. Gently, slowly, come back to your body. Gently move your fingers, move your toes, gently and slowly come back. Raise your hands again, blessing. Again, in blessing, visualize the people you love in your life. Fill them with golden light. May all of them be blessed with good health, with happiness, with abundance and prosperity, and with spirituality. So be it. May all be blessed without exception. So be it. Blessings be to all. Now be aware of your feet. Be aware of your hands. Base of the spine. Project golden light down into the earth. Let our beloved Mother Earth be blessed with divine light, divine love, and divine power. Let our beloved Mother Earth be healed, regenerated, and revitalized. Blessings be to Mother Earth. So be it. So be it. And so it is. Okay, let's give thanks to the divine Supreme God, divine Father, Mother. Thank you to all the spiritual elders, holy masters, saints, Archangels, Holy Angels, Spiritual Helpers, thank you for your immense blessings in full faith. And so it is. To my teacher, Master Chokok Sui Mahaguj Mailing, thank you. All right, open your eyes. Now it's a shorter meditation. And, um, you know, the bandwidth here isn't that great. So I hope you are able to, <laughs> I hope this works. Uh, as far as Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, we'll have to upload it because there's not enough bandwidth to do all of them at the same time. All right, um, anyway, we cannot, uh, I can't tell you what time we can do the next one because I just have to find whatever time that I'm not <laughs> uh, working to do our meditations. Okay, and it's a beautiful place. I just moved the camera around so you guys get to see how nice this place is. And that's, so we are in Greece. <laughs> And we're doing our Ahatik Yoga retreat, which, by the way, for some of you who are interested, next year we're doing our Ahatik Yoga retreat in many places, in Southern California, also by the beach, and in Wisconsin. Okay, I'm going to be with my colleague, Master Hector, with it too. So make sure you take the classes that are prerequisites, and that's it. Okay, we'll meditate as the opportunity comes up. Comes up. Namaste, you all take care, and we will see you on the next Anchor Light Meditation. God bless. Bye-bye.